What is happening, people who like Call of Duty Mobile videos? Today's Monday, 8 p.m., and for whatever reason, Call of Duty Mobile decided that today they're going to be bringing in a brand new lucky draw with a new legendary variant to the game. This one's going to be for the QQ9 Moonlight, which I'd seen on Twitter, haven't really seen any leaks on otherwise, or what it looks like. Oh, actually, I lied. Yeah, I've seen this in the Chinese version of COD Mobile like forever ago. So it looks like they finally decided to bring this variant to the global edition of the game and you guys already know we're going to be spending lots of money on it or at least hopefully not but probably we will of course quickly before we do so i want to give a huge shout out to our video sponsor hawks nest hawks nest say hi to everybody have you gotten taller <laughs> Anyway, all Hawks wants is for you guys to like today's video and hit that subscribe button here to the know from YouTube channel if you haven't already. What a guy. Appreciate you. Recoil. Anyway, we're going to go through this super quick. We have skip animation on. Let's see if maybe that brings us good luck. It doesn't. First up, we got ourselves the wingsuit. ADCP, the parachute. Back-to-back -back BR items. Yes. 120, flashbang. 300... Oh, I thought for a second, I was like, what, Reaper? No, it's the emo Rocket Barrage. That one's actually kind of cool, and I feel like it's suitable for my character, so I'm going to equip it. 500 CP. Karambit. I would say as far as value goes for this draw, this is probably one of the less, like, worth doing draws that we've had recently. Like, some of the previous ones have had pretty cool epics that I would consider the throwaway skins of the draw, but this one doesn't really seem to have anything too, like, great outside of the QQ9. There's a Peacekeeper skin, which maybe we use in a video sometime in the near future, but, I mean, it doesn't have any custom geometry, no animations, just, like, a slight glow on the orange. And then the Manta Ray skin is probably the other, like, most attractive item in the draw as far as, like, what people would want, but besides that, nothing in here is really too great. So, yeah, proving my point, we also just got a Legendary Calling card I'm never gonna use. 1300 cp i guess the backpack i'm gonna go ahead and uncheck skip animation now just because we're spending 20 bucks on this draw so i want to at least like feel like it's worth it and we got mana ray ah oh, and i don't have any more cp pain i mean good thing today's video was sponsored right for 2800 let's see peacekeeper or qq9 peacekeeper like I said, we might actually use this here in an upcoming video just because I haven't used the Peacekeeper in so long. It's like a pretty viable weapon with a high skill gap to use. So it's like difficult, but it could do really good in game. And I know a lot of people have been wanting to see me do content on it like recently. So we'll probably cover it sometime in the next week or so. But anyway, finally, our last draw, 4,700 CP is going to get us this QQ9. I'm hoping this thing looks real cool in game. It looks like it does have that sort of Aurora look. I don't know if that's like the proper term, but basically it's got like the two beams of light that come out. And we've seen this on other legendaries, which looks pretty cool in game. And I know this is a reactive form legendary as well. So, you know, hopefully it's going to be worth it. But yeah, we'll uh, see what it looks like in game. Of course, before we do that, let me go ahead and hop into Gunsmith and get ourselves a nice build for this thing. And this is the build that we're going to be using on the QQ9. Now, I actually haven't tested this out yet, but just historically from me using the QQ9, I feel like this is going to be something that I can do pretty well with especially because we boosted the damage at range 45 percent but i will say the biggest downside for me personally on this build is going to be the fact that the hit flinch is going to be increased by eight percent which is just a stupid amount it is a submachine gun so most of the fights are going to be up close where hit flinch isn't going to be too effective but i feel like if i'm ever taking those mid to long range fights if i get shot i'm just going to fling up so maybe we swap out the no stock for something else later on in the video or maybe we throw on toughness but but regardless, this is what we're going to be using here, at least for the first match and sort of get a good test run with it. So with all that being said, if you guys want to screenshot it, here it is. I'm going to start queuing up into a ranked match and I'll see you all once I find a first game. Noah from Team Deathmatch is coming back out here in today's video, apparently, because our first game is going to be a TDM on Crash. I'm down just to like test out this build and sort of uh, warm up for the day just because I haven't played it all. But here we are getting our first impressions of the QQ9 in game. And it's iron sights, which I think are really nice. There is this one like boxy QQ9 that I had used. I can't remember the name of the variant, but I loved it. And that's sort of like the iron sights vibes that I'm getting from this one. I'm curious on how trash my aim is going to be. Because like I said, we're just hopping on here for the first time. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw a trip mine down there and just push straight up mid. Yeah, we got players in front of us. At least two here. Go ahead and just drop down pre-firing. We're behind another player here. Oh, oh, okay. You know what? That's fine. We don't talk about that. I got the kill. Yeah, it sounds nice. And there's the death effect, by the way. No, I didn't really show that off too much. Got another player spawned up over here. This thing sounds super, like, heavy. Like, the gunshot sounds so tough. Let's pop this here. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to continue to use no stock after this. Players are all going to be spawning right back up in front of us here. 
I just feel like because of how long range I tend to play with SMGs, despite them being really good up close, obviously, it's not how you're supposed to play them. I think it'd be better for me to run like a stock that stabilizes recoil flinch. But regardless, we're kind of popping off right now. <laughs> Even taking that super long range shot there. That's sort of why we built this out to have 45% extra damage at range. Enemies are definitely spawning in yellow. Yeah, I'm hearing footsteps. At least two. We're just, what, two kills off of this advanced UAV? There's another player here. We just pushed into yellow. Up top. There we go. Advanced UAV going into the sky. We got players all across the three stack. I'm assuming that one went, yeah, to the second level. The spray them up. <laughs> Ooh, three players going yellow. Hold up now. Let's see if we can get these other two. Nice. And one more fresh spawn. Beamed. Okay. Yes, sir. These last few players are just in mid. Ooh. Okay. There's probably one more over here. I was right. I don't know what kind of kill streak we're on right now, but we're actually extremely close to a nuke, although there's only one kill left in the game before it ends. Ah, oh, and I'm going to snag it. <laughs> we got another advanced UAV in that life. Yeah, that was a nasty streak. Despite probably how bad that looked, like my aim was awful. We were just kind of playing slower and smarter. Totally yoinked that one, bro. Just one tap around the corner. Yeah, 21 and two. Pretty good performance there. Our other teammate had 20 kills as well, dude. Him and I combined for 41. Look at the rest of the squad. That was that was definitely something. So we hit the Ruthless. So I'm assuming we were probably on a 17 kill streak there. So like I mentioned, just because I happen to play a little bit more like at long ranges with this gun, I think we're going to go ahead and throw on something for like stability and hit flinch reduction. So I'm going to rock the MIP strike stock. I feel like having less ADS movement speed isn't really like too big of a deal because it is a submachine gun. And it's pretty high mobility by default. And it looks like we're going to be going to summit for our second match. Ah, thermites. Can't push, can't push, can't push. Can push. I saw we got another player in front of us here. Yeah, we're working on a flank. Okay, two kills on the board. Got third. Nice teammates. Spawns are probably going to flip here in a second. Yeah, my aim's so bad right now. I don't know how we just survived that. Losing C. There we go. Nice little freebie. You have more players on B, though. Teammate's actually taking them out, which is good. I'm going to lay this down. That was a belt. All right. I haven't used the QQ9 in a long time. feels like we're shredding with it. Enemies just split spawn. Some at C, some at A. I want to say there's at least two here on this. I was right. I'm going to go ahead and fall back, pop the advanced baby into this guy, and just see if we can work this. Got one more. Nice. Let me drop the shock RC because they're still spawning up over there and I want to call on this UAV. I got a player up top. Two in front of me as well. That guy saw me. Ooh. Bro, my aim's so bad. Holy crap. Okay, <laughs> we live. Oh, I'm on a 16 kill streak right now. So close to the advanced UAV, but I know I'm going to choke. The only way we survive this is if we like play smart because just gun skill wise, I don't have what it takes to beat my opponents, like beat my opponents in a gunfight to be clear. Ooh, actually kinetic armor. Yeah, this is a game changer. I'm going to pop it and just push. Still almost lost the fight, but that gets us the advanced UAV, which tells me there's a player above me. Make it two, actually. I'm just going to play this advanced UAV smart. That guy ate. What's this guy doing? Canine unit? Ah, oh, they're down low. There it is. Oh my gosh. Okay, game number two. We pulled through with the QQ9 legendary nuke. I'll take it. Definitely needed that one there for the confidence. Gonna be UAV spot. I'm gonna be on that. Dude, right there, the only reason I've won that fight was because of the stability. The player's definitely flanking around. Which is good because next time they reach out, I'm gonna be full HP. Pop that. You push. Psycho. 
And this just shows you, man, the only reason I can streak up on nukes isn't because I'm good at shooting my gun, but it's just because I rotate smart. Still got more players pushing me as well. <laughs> uh, I'm going to fall back and finally call on this nuke. If I stay alive long enough, it's going to get us another advanced UAV as well and just help out with map control overall. This player's definitely going to be coming around my left. Yeah, I hear him. There it is, advanced UAV. Let's see if we can start pushing B here and pick these players off. Hit fire! Ah, they took B. We'll get it back, though, right away. Yes, sir. Go ahead and lay a trophy down here. We see where the spawn breakdown. One split at C. They might try to challenge us. That's why I call them the advanced UAV. Oh, what the? Was that a... I'm genuinely so confused. Oh, I did not see that dude on the radar push me in the back. Okay. Well, going down there, but no worries. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this kinetic. We're just gonna push. Snag up A here real fast. And I'll just give us a triple cap for a second. Drop another shock RC down. Let's see if we can defend him off of B as they push this. Rip that guy. Oh my gosh. Bro, that was the soap skin that doesn't have a head. <laughs> How long has that skin been bugged that it doesn't actually have a head, dude? That's wild. If I lay low here, they won't see me. They won't see me. <laughs> I just pulled the Drax. <gasps> Ah, it's working. <laughs> All right, that'll do it, man. One death in that entire match. 150 to 74 victory. You guys can see there by the wristwatch, 37 bomb. Oh, you can see right there the new emote as well, the missile barrage. So yeah, that's cool. Showing that off too. Alrighty, everyone. Well, that will do it here for today's quick video showcasing the new weapon. If you guys all enjoyed, I'd really appreciate it if you went ahead and smash that like button. And again, Hawksness would appreciate it as well. And again, if you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel, I'd really appreciate if you went ahead and done so. We are closing in on 600,000 subscribers pretty quickly here. So if we could do it by the end of next month, that would be awesome. With all that being said, I don't really have much else for you. Appreciate you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.